What's going on YouTube? Back with another episode of Madden 15 Ultimate Team playing at home against the Oakland Raiders. Been playing this game on a lot, like I said recently, man. I don't know why. I guess it's, I just got to get ready for Madden 16. You know, my thumbs got to get ready for the sticks. August 25th is when it comes out. And you know I'm going to get it. Main reason I'm excited for it is because, man, that draft champion looks really nice. And plus, it's for free. It's for freaking free. So, that draft champions, I don't know. I'm really excited about that. You know I got to start up another career mode series because Ace Cannon is almost over. I got one more season with Ace Cannon, and then we're going to start a new series. Uh, I'm at a 16, and I don't know. You know, back to Ultimate Team again when uh, 16 comes out. So, we're not just only going to have two series. We're, we're going to have three series. Three freaking series for one game. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, that's why... I'm excited. At second and 12, Mike Evans goes up and just mosses Trey Wayne's like it's nobody's business. Second and 10, my opponent drops back, tries to. I'm, I was almost there with that user. I was really, really almost, almost there with that user. But yeah, man, really excited. I really can't wait. Uh, NBA 2K16, I'm definitely, definitely getting because I didn't get uh, 2K15. So 16, I have to get for sure. And I heard about the craziness going on in 16 2k 16 is gonna be freaking crazy yo they're bringing they're bringing back real like college teams bring back real college teams you can, i think you can start off from high school and college and you had the you also have the summer league games as well they bring that back they're bringing pro i don't know what pro am is i think pro am is like similar to crew mode so it's just a lot of things going on in 2k 16 like i have to get it i have to get it so there's a lot of games going. I, I might, I might even get NBA Live. Like seriously, in all seriousness, I might get NBA Live. So I'm really, really excited for this uh, upcoming fall. Or I think August is still fall, right? August is still summer. I don't know when summer ends, but who gives a shit? We don't care, all right? I'm pretty sure you guys just want me to go back into this gameplay, which I will. I just threw an interception. First and 10, my opponent goes deep, and he throws an interception to Joe Hayden. Joe Hayden is making a name for himself. Yo, that final edition, Joe Hayden looks nasty. It looks nasty. Like, it looks ridiculous. First and 10, nice spin move by Marshawn Lynch. As you know, he goes into beast mode. Second and 13, dropping back with Ryan Tannehill, decides to scramble and take off. Second and 11, trying to find my man, Sabney. Not Sammy Watkins. Is it Sammy Watkins? It is. His name is Sammy Watkins. I thought his name was like something Watkins. I'm sorry. I'm messing up. Excited about Madden 16. Third and 13. My opponent is dropping back. Rolling out the pocket. Throwing deep again. And Trey wins over there to knock the pass down. He's not trying to get mossed like he did earlier. I feel bad for his soul. Fourth and 13. My opponent decides to punt. That is the Anthony Thomas back there. Throwing a little juke, another spin move, and that is a nice, decent return. That's that's actually a decent return for a punt return. I'm not even going to lie. So on first and 10, trying to run that screenplay, throwing it to Mr. Watkins, Sammy Watkins, for a, a decent amount of gain on third and two. Ooh, he just came and destroyed Marshawn Lynch in the backfield, but you not have to go for it on fourth and one. Passing play, rolling out the pocket with Ryan Tannehill, and throwing a laser to Greg Olsen. First and 10. Dropping back. Ooh, ooh, that was a very, very, very dangerous pass. I have to be smarter with the ball. Second and 11, just dumping it down to Marshawn Lynch, a.k.a. Beast Mode, who gets flipped over. So on third and two, I, didn't, I, I, I couldn't even get the ball off. I could not even get the ball off. We got sacked, but that's okay. Playing is smart. Decided to just go for my points. We're up by three points, so heading into the second half. Second and 11, rolling out the pocket with Ryan Tannehill. Can't find anything. I tried to throw it away before I ran out of bounds, but even with me running out of bounds, it was still a zero-yard gain. I didn't lose any yards. I didn't gain any yards. So it's still third and 11, trying to go deep to Sammy Watkins. I overthrew him. But on first and 10, my opponent's first possession of the second half, Joe Hayden is there again. Breaks the tackle. Trying to roll down the sideline, he finally gets caught at about the 34-yard line. So we have pretty good field position. So I said, this is the time where I bury my opponent. 
second and ten, throwing it off to Odell Beckham Jr., who comes down with the crazy pass. Marshawn. What? Marshawn. Marshawn. You, you're, you're not supposed to fumble when you're in beast mode. You don't fumble in beast mode. Like, you're not supposed to fumble, dude. So now my opponent has the ball on second and 13. That was a crazy wild pass. He has a chance to either tie the game or put points up on the board. But with passes like these, he might not even be able to drive down the field. That was a horrible, horrible drive by my opponent. So now, now is the time for me to bury my opponent. Now is the time for me to, to just go into killer attack mode. First and 10, dropping back. Simple dump off to Marshawn Lynch, but you know he's going to break a few tackles, getting it down to about the 21-yard line, close to the red zone. Actually, we are in the red zone. Well, one yard outside of the red zone, but that's besides the point. Second and five. We need to get this first down. In fact, we need to score. We only got the pocket. Oh, I did not see him. I did not see him there. I really didn't. I really, really didn't. Third and five, finding Mike Evans. I don't know how I got that ball through. I don't know how I got that ball through, but Mike Evans was able to come down with the catch. So I'm now up by 10 points. My opponent has been dead quiet recently as Leonard Williams comes off the edge to disrupt that pass. Second and 10. The user is real. Do not test my user kid, Khalil Mack, breaking tackles. Can he go all the way? But he cannot. Down at the 14 yard line. So on first and 10. A simple handout to Marshawn Lynch. A crazy mean spin move. Ooh, we beast mode into the end zone, and we are up by 24 to seven. With a little bit left in the third quarter, I figured this is the time when my opponent decides to rage quit. A mean hit by Khalil Mack. Second and seven. My opponent is still in it. He's showing hard. He's going deep. That was a beautiful pass and a beautiful catch by Mike Evans. First and 10, I think that is his own mark. Is that Marshawn Lynch? No, that is Ryan Matthews. So on a second and six, I got to give credit to my opponent. Like, he's really staying in there. He's really down, driving down the field. But here he goes with those dumb passes again into triple coverage, which I didn't understand why he was doing that. A, a screen pass on third and six, a mean juke move, and another first down by my opponent. He's really, really, really moving the ball. See, if he would have played like this in the beginning of the game, DJ Mosley, the all-rookie middle linebacker. If he was only fast, he would have took that all the way. Yo, that was a crazy, crazy interception. Jesus, I was, oh my gosh. The, he has to quit now. Like, he, there's no other, I would, if I was him, I would have quit. I'm sorry. I, if I was him, I would have quit. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is he not going to quit? Is he not going to quit? I'm pretty sure after this play, he's going to quit. Look at this. Oh, ooh, Marshawn Lynch, you almost had him. Wait for it. There he go, finally. But that interception, though, that interception, though, by C.J. Mosley, that shit, that shit was pretty nice. I'm not even going to lie. 